Ireland Royal de Prey has just won the Darley Yorkshire Oaks with Chiretta uh, in the same colours carried by Petite Etoile back in 1959. You were just pointing out that's a great filly to be following in the footsteps of. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's a, she's a great filly and she's a, the filly, typically the filly for to run uh, this kind of race because it's a beautiful track, very selective track. And uh, we know she stays, she stays all the time. And uh, in France, uh, many times the track is too short and she has not the ability to to have a very quick turn of foot. Mm -hmm. She needs time to uh, accelerate mm -hmm. and she do well today. Did she surprise you when she was second in the arc last year? Maybe, maybe, because uh, the, the arc last year, the ground was very firm and we have a lot of pace in the race. It was uh, the, what we need for the filly. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the winner is a German filly, Dan Dream, who won in Ascot uh, two or three weeks ago. It, it, it's a good level, it's a top mm -hmm. level. And Charetta herself has proved her level of ability with the run beyond, behind Meandre this season and that victory there. She's a very, how, how good do you think she is? I, I always think uh, she, she has the ability to, to be at the top with the Phillies, but uh, you have to see with the Colt. Mm -hmm. But uh, if, uh, if the ground is too soft in the end of the season, uh, it's not the best for the filly. But uh, fortunately, the rain comes just after the race <laughs> and not before the race. So did you come here not just because the, the race was ideal for her, but because of the ground, that she needs a sound surface? No, I come because uh, I'm sure to have a very selective track and, uh, and it's the best for the filly. In France, it's too difficult to... Many races go very slow and you have subitly acceleration. It's not the, the best for the filly. This race was a bit like that, though, wasn't it? They did crawl. Yes, but, uh, but uh, he, he go in front because she is... Uh, and he let another one pass on the, at the end of the turn mm -hmm. and he come back at the end. Because she won, because she stay. Mm. But so it's a long, long straight. Right? Yeah, absolutely. She's very good. Now, does she go for the Vermeil next? Is that it's, the plan? It's possible. It's yeah. possible, and the arc, may, but it depends on the ground. I was going to ask you whether you take on the Colts again, because she ran so well last year. Why? Why wouldn't you? Last year? In the arc. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She won well, but uh, it was a, maybe a surprise because we have a race like in Germany in uh, last year in the arc. And they, they go in front, three horses, very good horses go on the pace, and they kill the other one who was behind. And the net, anyone can come back from behind. Would you think about, if the ground wasn't right for the arc, would you think about America and the Breeders' Cup? No, she's not, uh, she's not a filly for America. She has a too long action, and the track in Santa Anita is too short. Okay. No, no, we don't go to America. <laughs> And does she stay in? Uh, is this the, her final year in training? No, well, no, I don't think so. No, no, no. She needs to go to have uh, well, pro a progeniture. Uh, so she retires at the end of the year. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, many congratulations. Job done here. A Group One win. Well done, Alan. Thank you. Thank you.